Is it that we are born with a sense of what's right and what's wrong and we learn its application over a period of time? Yes, I would say that uh, it is true uh, because that is what distinguishes uh, man from the rest of creation. And when I say man, I mean human creation. But how the people who say that it's the survival of the fittest and uh, we have to do what we have to do. So where does the right and wrong comes into play in your opinion? I think the challenge really comes, uh, and when you refer to survival of the fittest, it's, it's a very worldly perspective. And the challenge of values and ethics comes when they clash with needs or whatever we define as needs. True. Um, otherwise, uh, they can coincide very happily. Um, so the school of thought that I belong to, we generally believe that both needs and values are very important, but you put them both in the driving, uh, both put them both in the front seat, but put the steering on the driving seat, put the values there. So that if there is a clash, that the values will be able to put you on the right track. Um, what does happen is, yes, uh, survival of the fittest takes you to the short run, but in the long run, you will need those values, and that's what you'll be identifying. Where do those values come from? I mean, this is a question I'm posing to both of you. Why don't you go ahead first? Where do these values come from? I think from a concept of an ideal that you follow in life. I mean, uh, you have to have an ideal in life. Otherwise, what is the difference between you and uh, any lower creation out there?